And now, despite some recent struggles so far in the Euros and their failing to convince in their first four games, England remain favourites to win Euro 2024. Mm, yeah, yeah. ESPN oh. Bet has them ahead of Spain. And then you have France and Germany as joint third favourites here. Julian Laurent is still with us. And next up for England, it is Switzerland on Saturday. Um, will England actually play better against Switzerland, do you think, Jules, this game? To be fair, I thought that something would happen for the Slovakia game and that they would raise their game and that the players would take charge because they know that the head coach is not very good to say it nicely because I, I promised myself that I would not be too harsh on Gary Southgate, even if I don't want to say his name anymore. So I just thought something would happen. <laughs> and instead, nothing happened. It was probably even worse than what we saw before. So I think they still have some sort of improvement and performance in them. but. This is a team that they're going to face in Switzerland. That is a good team. Everything that England don't have in terms of structure, organization, direction, idea even, Switzerland have it. They've just that this is what they're really good at. And we've seen it in this tournament so far where they were impressive against Germany, impressive against Italy, albeit a bad Italy team. But still, individually, if you look at players, maybe England have more talent, really, like purely natural talent than the Swiss have. But collectively, and in a game like this, in, on international level, you would always, I think, prefer to have that collective strength than just a bunch of very good individual players. At least one change has to be made for Gareth Southgate with uh, Mark Gahey suspended. There's been a lot of talk about whether he'll switch to a back three to match switch the Swiss's system. Should he do that, Stevie? You're, you're screwing your face up at that part. <laughs> well, should he do it? He needs to do something to get this team going. And... Um... England teams previously have done that, but this is a guy that doesn't think outside the box and he will be safe and he will go with, with a, a, a back four. I'm, I'm absolutely certain of it. Um, look, if you brought an outsider in and knew nothing about football and, and, and the plan was to sit down and watch the tapes of Switzerland, tapes of England, then he would come back and say, you know what? There's no way that this team here can beat this team. If you want to look at team shape, the way they pass the ball around, the way they're all together, there's no way that you would go for England to win this game. But unfortunately in football, it's not about what's happened in the past, it's about what happens next. And that's why I think England's going to win this game. I think add to the fact, for me, Switzerland are a side that when it comes to a big game, and somehow they're the favourites, I think, I think that weighs on them. You know, when they play against the so-called big names and they're the underdogs, you fancy them to upset the apple cart. But when the pressure's on them to win because they're the favourites, which they are going into this game, I think they're going to slip up. And England can't be any worse. I think England wins this game. Do you think Switzerland are favourites going into this game? Yeah. If you look at the way both sides are playing, both as a unit, as individuals, every which way you want to look at these two teams right now, Switzerland have to be the favourites on paper. I, well, 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 unfortunately, I, I think... unfortunately for them, the game's played on the field, not on paper. Yeah, no, I, I, That's I, why I've gone for England. I, I think on paper, England are still favourites. I, I think though, though, or a lot of us watching, watching these games can see Switzerland causing well, what will, in effect, be an upset because their football certainly has been, has been better than, than England so, so far. But I, I, don't, I don't think Switzerland are favourites. As to what Gareth Southgate will, will, will do, and we've had this same discussion about Gareth Southgate pretty much all tournament long. Everybody's made suggestions, he should do this, he should do that, play Palmer here, do this, that, the other. And then as everybody makes their suggestions, the end is but it's Gary Southgate. So you know he's just going to do the same old, same old. And that, for, for me, the only thing we've seen different from Gary Southgate from the beginning of the tournament to now is to bring in Kobe Maynard. I don't think anything else, I don't think he's going to make any change unless forced by, by injury or suspension to change anything about England. So, I, they, I don't get it, I, well, I, I, What makes them favourites? Well, be, because of, of, of the talent and the because players, yeah. the, the bookies say so, I guess. Um, listen, I, and I still think, I still think England go on and win this game. 
in much the same manner that they've done all tournament long. It's going to be a hard watch, but they're just going to grind the result out. Nobody's going to perform to the level that we know they can. Somehow they sneak a 1-0 and go through. How good is Jude Bellingham in that even when he's not at his best, he can still pop up and make the difference for his size special, at his age? Special players, they have a special uh, impact at some point. Uh, we saw that Zidane, 98. We saw that Zidane, Champions League with Real Madrid. We saw that many times with Jude Bellingham this season with Real Madrid, scoring so many goals at the end, 90 plus something. And the last game, he wasn't good. We have to be, uh, to be fair with football. He wasn't good, but he made something special, something we're going to watch for decades because that was something incredible to, to, to try. And, and it's what he did. I think the, the balance of a team is very fragile. The Swiss can be the favourites, but if England managed to score very early, like Turkey did against Austria, because everybody agreed that Austria were the favourites against Turkey. But you can, you know, switch to something else. And it's up to the English to, uh, to change that. Luck is part of the game. They seem to have that luck because otherwise Jude Bellingham would have scored that goal and the, the, the bicycle or whatever you want to call it would have gone into the stand and bye-bye England. They have the chance. They have the luck. So whether it's going to carry on or not, I think so. It's why they are, I, I put them in my prediction. We're going to see. But, uh, but it's very, very fragile. I wonder what Stevie's gone for when it comes mm, to the oh, predictions here then. I'm actually right. very interested to see He's right deny now. himself. Yeah, oh, you yeah. see. Yeah. You know that hurt him oh, to pick England. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, we don't see that often. England winning on penalties. So don't be giving us the kiss of death, OK? OK. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, England-Switzerland predictions. The